Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be demonstrating our automatic shutoff valve or low pressure shutoff valve for our uh, RB5, 10, and 15 buckets. So um, the way these work is these valves here will get plumbed in um, series. So what you're going to want to do is find your needle valve. Um, this would be the exit port where our concentrated sap would be coming out. So we want to trace that back, trace our needle valve back, and we want our auto shutoff valve or low pressure shutoff valve on the pressure side of the shutoff valve so it needs to stay pressurized and then electrically we are going to plug it into our pump and our transformer so typically our transformer lead here would be plugged directly into our pump thus it would be running all the time we are just going to splice this out um, and run it into our auto shutoff valve so on uh, disconnect it or unhook it and then plug in your two connectors off your auto shutoff valve. Once you get that all set up, uh, you're pretty much ready to uh, prime it up and get it running. So what you're going to want to do is once it's plumbed, uh, it, your pump isn't going to run until we bypass our auto shutoff valve and get the pressure up past 5 PSI. So to do that, you're going to um, press the bypass hole. So right in here there's a little hole. And if you press in there with a, a sharp screwdriver or anything really, uh, once you press it in, you'll notice that uh, the pump will start to run. Now what's going to happen is uh, when you plumb yours, is if you press that like this, the pump will run. And if you let go, the pump will shut back off because there's not enough pressure yet. So what you're going to do is hold this in, hold that in to run the pump, and then slowly close your needle valve. Slowly close your needle valve until pressure starts to build up in the system, much like you would kind of dial it in to, you know, create concentrated sap. So you would uh, restrict that down, and once it's restricted enough, you'll notice that you will not have to, it'll automatically stay on by itself. You will not have to hold it in anymore. Um, and then the way this is going to operate is if you run out of sap in your bulk container, or if you spring a leak anywhere in the system, essentially, if you run out of sap, we'll pull our uh, we'll pull our hose here to mimic what would happen if we ran out of sap. Um, you'll notice that once the pressure drops, the system will cut itself off, and we just heard the click from the auto shutoff valve. So that's how these things work. If you have any questions, uh, check out our website or shoot me an email at the link in the bottom of the screen. And thank you. Bye.